Well, Claire's mad at me. Now you might be wondering why is she mad at me? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I didn't do anything wrong. I think she's a little jealous, okay? We just had a big argument as to why I'm never hungry and why she is always hungry, okay? It's I'm not in the mood to do this. I'm in a bad mood and I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. Again, I don't know why she's so upset. I didn't do anything. I didn't I'm sit. hungry. But it's not fair for you to harass me because you're hungry and you're mad at me for not being hungry. She said, on a scale of one to 10, how hungry are you? I said a one because I'm not even hungry. And Claire lost her mind. There's this new place in town called Pasta Masta. I don't know if you can see that. I'm recording with my phone. Should be interesting. Hopefully this clears Claire's angry face. I don't know what that means, but let's go eat, baby. Are you happy yet? Yes. I'm literally so happy right now. This What'd is you a, get? the most massive bowl of pasta. It's so hot. Watering. Look at Andrews. He got green onions on it. Boom. It's real weird. I don't really know what I did here. Uh, I got angel hair, Alfredo, green olives, and sausage and onion. Claire got a bunch of vegan stuff. I just got like veggie pasta. It was so expensive. Can you not get that close to my mouth? It was like 28 bucks. 28 bucks. We could make this ourselves for probably like 10. I mean, this is pretty much four bowls of pasta each. So eight bowls of pasta for 20. No. Breaking news. Claire apparently found a piece of metal in her pasta. I don't know what that means. But let's go take a closer look. I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue. Look at this. What the heck? Oh my god. Wait, so should I go back in? I don't know. That's like literally metal. Is this a joke? Do I keep eating it? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, you're already like halfway done. Do we, do we go back in or do I tweet them like a true Karen? Tweet them. Apparently, 7-Eleven has good coffee. I don't know. Claire's never had it either. But her friends are telling her, yo, bro. 7-Eleven has some freaking fire coffee. And since we've been, ex we've been, we've been, uh, what is it called? Uh, complaining a lot lately about Starbucks. You've and stuff. been complaining a lot lately. I have Starbucks. You suck and I hate you. But we're going to try 7-Eleven coffee and let you know how it is. Okay, we got the coffees at 7-Eleven. Now, they were out of one. I don't know what the flavor it was. It was a French vanilla latte. French vanilla latte. I don't know if I would have got that or the mocha. Okay, but let me let me disclaim this. They have hot coffee, a lot of it, and they also have cold brew. Boom! All right, Claire's is plain. I added some of you their like, the mocha. Yeah, Claire's is just a plain cold brew mocha Which flavor. I, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they mislabeled it. I got the same thing with. Look at this lady getting a red box. Does I she... didn't know people got red boxes anymore. Yeah, I'm trying to. Should I we go? tell her that it's 2020 not 2014 <laughs> but yeah sure hers is plain coffee mine has a little bit of a cream in it mm, all right cheers cool okay i'll be the first to say it is not good <laughs> It tastes like plastic it tastes almost. Like water. Taste mine. Ugh. It's their hot coffee that's supposed to be good, not their cold brew. But Andrew and I aren't really hot coffee people. We're more cold. Because we're also human. And we're it's not also, psychos. It's also uh show that. A hundred degrees out right now. Yeah, so I think it was only like two bucks. Yeah, cold brew, not great. Maybe next time we'll get some hot coffee. Oh, look at this little guy. We're in the backyard and we found a little toad. That's a big toad. That ain't... <laughs> hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to open the door. There you go, buddy. Keep going. There you go. <laughs> Keep going. Go back to the grass. What are you doing? Keep going. Yay. Go free, Yay! buddy. Yay. Go to the That's grass. a big freaking frog. Alligator, crocodile hunter. Oh, my God. What did I just say? If you want to know what Saturday looks like for Claire and Drew, well, currently we are going to the donation center to donate all of those clothes. Exciting stuff we know. We will probably not show you any more of this because that might be the most boring. That might be more boring than you talking about but your vegan breakfast. But it's real life. 
All right, we stopped and got some more coffee. This is like the 18th coffee stop on the vlog. Let's go. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Look, there's a cookie in it. But I asked for oat milk, but they still put whipped cream on it. Hey, so Andrew don't... has to eat my whipped cream. They don't care about the oat milk. Babe. All right, we're back in the car, and now it is time to taste test these bad boys. Claire has oat milk, milk in it. I almost said oatmeal, oat milk. I have normal milk because who the F would get oat milk? But let's go. It's actually not as sweet as I was thinking it was gonna be, but Babe. it's pretty good. Did we give our honest review yet? Oh. We go three, two, one, you give your number. Now my uh, number might be inflated because of what you said. Now it won't be an actual scientific experiment to decide what we rated this. So I guess I'll just give it a six. A six? It might have been an eight, but now I've obligated to rate it lower because you just ruined it. Sorry. The rule is three, two, one, boom. What Claire does and what really annoys me is I'll say, hey, Claire, try this piece of cheese or something. I don't know. Try this candy bar. And I go, do not make a facial reaction because I want us to rate it at the same time. Claire goes this. This is how she, this is how she used to do it. Okay, Claire, here, take a sip of this. Don't make a facial reaction because I don't want to know. She goes, okay. So she goes. What was that? I didn't even taste it yet. Now I know I'm going to get into something delicious. And she ruins it usually. So. Okay. Imagine you're on a first date and this is what the guy does when the waitress or waiter brings you your queso. Okay. So you are my date. Like this is a first person view and you got your queso and they're just like, yeah. <laughs> so, tell me something about yourself. Um, do you like sports? Or better yet, they give you one of these. Or one of these. So you go here, kid. This is the strategy. You got. <laughs> You got the chip dust in your hand. You go for the tongue dip. Huh? So, what's your name? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh this lighting. <laughs> we just woke up, off to work. It is Sunday morning. This is what we do, boys and girls. Me and Claire are technically starting our own business. And we got to pretty much work every single day. Maybe someday we'll show you. Maybe not. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. We got to take Saturdays off. Why do we look so weird right now? I don't know. I can't tell if it's good or if it's bad. It's bad for try, me. Try. Good for you. It's like a healthy soda. Andrew, it's not that bad. Ew. Stop. If you guys want to know how Andrew and I make it through our Sunday mornings, we usually get bagels from a beautiful mom and pop shop. They're so good. And I went in today while Andrew just sat in the car putting together his fantasy team. Sacrifice? I think so. Hey, 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 hey. 